Hello everybody, Joan Nielsen here. It's, uh, sun's going down, it's getting really beautiful out here. Um, well, actually, all day around here. It's beautiful to me. Look at that. I get to hang out all day. <laughs> um, it's so awesome living where I live. I love it. I want to talk to you for a few minutes about, um, life with Matt. So many of you know that I have a son who has disabilities and um, he also has epilepsy, which we've been trying to for, well, since he was diagnosed 14, 15 years ago, almost 15 years ago. And um, I've been trying to get him to a place where he is 100% seizure free, of course, we are almost there. We really are almost there. You can see my chair behind me. Um, <clears throat> we, we've got him, got him to a place where he has maybe one or two seizures and maybe every once in a while a slip up seizure or a food induced seizure is what I, what I'm going to call it. Or, um, maybe a heat seizure or something, you know, just out of the blue that he'll have. But usually he won't have more than one on a regular basis a month. From going from so many, so many, I can't even tell you how many he was having in a day. Um, it was like, by the, when he was 15 years old, he ended up, he was about 15 years old, he ended up in bed for a month. And um, I'm sure I told the story, but I'm going to say it again because it's so very important to what I want to talk to you about. Um, we were in for a month. He was in bed, and I was trying to get him to not have seizures. And the doctor I had at the time just continued to up his dosage and up his dosage and up his dosage, and and um, nothing was helping. You know, I was really worried that at this point of time, he was going to die. I thought he was going to die. During the month, I wanted to try so many different things, and the doctor really didn't want to back me on. I didn't want to be part of it, and and um, diet was a big one because there's a specific diet out there that you can do that is for epilepsy, a uh, ketogenic diet, but the doctor didn't want to do it with me, and I really was at wit's end not knowing what to do and just believing this doctor because I didn't really trust myself. I didn't really feel, that's the air mattress I'm sitting on, didn't really feel um, trustworthy. And I didn't feel that I could believe in myself enough to chance my son's health. Now, I want to just stop for a second and tell you that years before this, many years before this, I was diagnosed with uh, clinically depressed. Okay, I was, I was depressed, and I, I, as far as my doctor was concerned, I would be on and the psychiatrist, I would be on antidepressants for the rest of my life because I was depressed, and I would always be there. I would always be fighting this. I would always be in that state, and I just did not like the thought of being on any drugs for the rest of my life. So I said no, and I figured out other ways to get myself to continue surviving through my life. I do not like pharmaceutical medications for me, okay? Now, not all pharmaceutical medications, but certain ones. So when when he was diagnosed with this, when Matt was diagnosed with this, of course, it was a really big, difficult time because now I have to put him on a pharmaceutical drug. I didn't know what else to do. And I wanted to give you a little background story on that because I want to explain, exp yeah, explain to you how finally making the decision to trust myself, to listen to my inner voice when it was telling me this drug that Matt was on was killing him. And I needed to get him to 
maybe off it completely, but at least get him to a point where he wasn't so high on this drug. He was overdosing, and I knew it. And um, the doctor continued to up his dosage, and thank God that Mike found out about a diet that I could do at home, which was the low-carb diet that we started. And thank God it worked. Because for years, for years, that kept him alive, going on that diet. He still had pharmaceutical drugs, but he did not have them as high. I was able to lower his dosage to a manageable one where he could actually wake up out of bed, that he could actually function as um, as a, a person, you know, able to remember to do stuff. It took a long time, of course, but we got him back to to that state. A diet is important, but what is more important for me was to learn to trust myself, to believe in myself. Now, I am not saying do not take the pharmaceutical medication. I am not saying um, to not listen to your doctor. But what I am saying, do your research, listen to your voice, find other ways. And maybe it will work like it did with Matt and myself. Maybe it will work um, trying something else. For us, it did. And then when we were introduced to cannabis, of course, cannabis helped even more. Now, I was like, I had always believed in cannabis, not that I, I use it or anything, but I know enough about, I know enough about it to know that the research that supposedly was done was a lie. And the reason why it is illegal is because pharmaceutical companies, gas companies, um, big business, toilet paper industry, <laughs> wood industry, and on and on it goes, will lose out. And, but, you know, all that aside, it works. This medication works, especially for my son. And if I wasn't willing to believe in myself enough to know that it works, to know that no matter what doctor says no, I got to find the one that says yes, because I need to do this. There are, he ran out of options. There's no more pharmaceutical drugs he can take. He is on the very last pharmaceutical drug that is out there because he's tried them all and nothing's worked. No pharmaceutical drug has worked for Matt 100%. And we, like I said, now he is to the point where he is, I'm going to say 99% seizure free. Yes, he has the odd seizure here and there, and he may have one a month, but really, we've come a long way, and I had to believe in myself. I had to look inside myself and go, okay, I need to try something else for, for this guy. So I've said this before, and I will continue saying it. Believe in yourself. Trust yourself. Try something new because it is so very important for you when you, we're talking health. There's my puppy. When we're talking health, your health, your child's health, your parent's health, your sister's health, whoever it is that you're caring for, when it comes to health, so many things can work. More positive attitude. Change your attitude towards it. Change how the way change the way you see it. Diet. Start taking care of your body. Exercise more. Eat healthier. Drink more water. Cucumbers are miracles. They really are. I love them. Um, a happier environment. If you are living in a stressful environment, you need to get out and you need to find somewhere else that's going to pe be peaceful. Get out in nature. Look at this. Beautiful, right? De-stress, exercise, 
eating healthy, more positive attitude, and finding other things that you can do, herbs, um, spices, essential oils, cannabis, whatever it is that may work for you, that may work for your illness, try it because it may work and it may help and you are worth it and your child is worth it and your spouse is worth it and your parents are worth it and your sisters are worth it and your friends are worth it. Whoever it is, they're worth it and you're worth it. Live in gratitude. Be grateful for everything. It is such a better place to live. Live in love. Another place that is just amazing to live in. Try new things. Take risks. Work with your doctor. But find other ways as well. Because it's so important. Believe in yourself. Always. And make it the most amazing day, everybody. I love you.